Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss about program control. So, at first, I will introduce some uh, basic definitions. What is program control? Uh, what are uh, program control instructions? And then I will go through some types of program control which are mostly used. Then I will describe. Uh, I will try to describe each of them. And uh, at last, I will conclude what we have learned in this lesson. So. First thing is what is program control? So program control is basically when we are executing any program, how our program will make decisions or organize some activities like uh, there are if else conditions. Uh, if uh, any code is executed, the uh, inside code points to another set of instructions. So redirecting that redirection is done basically with the help of program control. So it typically involves executing particular code based on outcome of a prior operation. Prior operation means uh, the prior code what we have executed output of that and uh, or a user input. So uh, for program control, we have to use program control instructions. So these instructions are basically some machine codes or assembly codes which are given by users to command the processor act accordingly means uh, if user want to control uh, means if user want to transform uh, transfer a control from one location of uh, instruction execution to another location then he will use program control instructions so some basic types which are used by our program for program control is uh, first is compare instruction next and un unconditional branch instruction then conditional branch instructions then subroutines then halting instructions then interrupt instruction so in case of compare instructions these are basically similar to subtraction uh, what happens in subtraction in subtraction basically uh, we have two values we have to compare and uh, uh, when we subtract uh, we get any of the value which is not there in one of operand in between uh, the two operands. But here we just compare whether the two operands are same or not. If there is any difference then the flags uh, that are uh, carry flag, sign flag etc are set accordingly to the result. The uh, result will not be stored. Okay. So in some processors it is uh, written as cmp the command is written as cmp in assembly language so in this example it basically compares r1 with uh, the value that is stored in r4 okay if it will uh, it will be true then the flags will set otherwise not in general okay now coming to the unconditional branch instructions so it is basically unconditional change of execution of instruction to a new location means uh, our program is executing the user has executed a program and uh, in the program there is some instruction which directly without any condition uh, transfer the control to another set of instructions okay like we, our program is uh, stored from uh, location 1000 to 1010 but uh, at the uh, location 1007 it is uh, the program is written to transfer the control from 1007 to directly 1080 okay so that will uh, without any condition transfer the control to the branch uh, which was executing from the location 1080 okay and after the execution of that uh, the normal execution will start that is uh, we went through 1007 after 1007 1008 should be uh, evaluated but after branch execution then 1008 will be evaluated let's suppose uh, the branch was from 1080 to 1090 then uh, uh, after 1007 the control will be transferred without condition to 1080 means the instruction is started at uh, 1080 and it will execute till 1090 and then again it will uh, transfer the control 
to the main program and we will again come to 1008 and uh, we will execute all the rest of the lines in the code okay so some of instruction used are j and z means jump is uh, if the zero flag is not set jz means jump if zero is zero flag is set jc means jump if uh, carry flag is set and js is jump if sign is sign flag is set okay now coming to the conditional branch instruction what are they they are basically uh, like in unconditional branch instruction there was no condition to change the branch of code from uh, one to another means we uh, were transferring the control of program from one set of instruction to another set of instruction without any of the condition but here we will have some condition we will store the value if stored value uh, uh, is uh, stored in uh, any of the register it will check the register if uh, the value is same in that register means the condition is satisfied then only the uh, branch will be executed means the trans uh, control will be transferred to uh, any other branch otherwise no okay so <laughs> like for example in this code in assembly language it is written b any r2 r3 and l2 means it is telling if uh, R2 and R3 are not equal, then we have to take the branch to L2. Okay. L2 is uh, some set of instructions which is located out of the program in any other location in memory. Okay. So, first, our processor will uh, check R2 and R3. If those are not equal values, then it will uh, take the control, uh, it will transfer the control to L2, means L2 set of instructions. You can uh, take it as a label where set of instructions are stored. So the uh, control will be transferred to the label L2 and uh, the instruction which are pointed by the label L2. Okay. In high level code, uh, it can be similarly written if uh, we consider x is uh, stored at R2 and y is stored at R3, then if x is not equal to y, then we have to go to L2. Okay, so in this way, conditional branch instruction works. So coming to the subroutines, these are basically uh, a part of program that lives in user space and uh, it has some well-defined task. The speciality of this type of uh, program control is that it is invoked by another user program. Okay, uh, when uh, it is uh, invoked, it takes control of the program and uh, when uh, the set of instructions which are given in the subroutines are finished then it uh, again returns the control to the calling program and uh, the normal execution starts the example of the uh, subroutines are call and return functions like uh, in a program if we have some function uh, to be executed it returns some value and that value is again given to the uh, program where it is called and uh, then the normal execution starts okay now coming to the halting instructions halting instructions are basically used to stop the execution of program like no uh, nop no op uh, it means no operation means uh, no operation will be performed on our operands N next comes is halt when uh, it is called when we have to uh, take our program remained in idle state whenever uh, until it is uh, restarted by any interrupt or trace or any external action now coming to the interrupt instructions so interrupts are basically mechanisms by which an uh, input output device or instruction can suspend a normal execution like any uh, request from input output device comes to our processor and uh, it is uh, it basically transfer uh, the control of the program execution to that uh, uh, interrupt uh, device and uh, after servicing the request it is uh, the control is again given to normal execution and normal execution starts so example are trap reset and intr interrupt etc okay so in conclusion we have learned that uh, program control instructions are basically uh, machine codes 
or assembly instructions which are used by machine and given by user to command the processor there are six common uh, and mostly used program control instructions which we have uh, went through like uh, coming from the compare instruction then we had unconditional branch then we had conditional branch then we had subroutines then halting instructions means stop execution and at last interrupt instructions okay and uh, at last uh, these are written in assembly language so that the processor uh, uh, may be compatible with these program instructions okay thank you